So you think that the Russians want war? These are the children of parents who died in the last one. Do you think that that's possible, knowing their past? That they'd ever consider repeating the past? When 20 million were slaughtered by Nazi invasion They died fighting on our side, you know In a fight to defend humankind from Nazi terror and hatred In the name of humanity bitterly torn In the name of our children as yet to be born before we do that which can never be undone, I beg of you Think, think again And again, and again, and again, and again Do you think that the Russians want war? These are the children of parents who died in the last one Go through that again, the destruction, the bloodshed, the suffering and pain. In the Second World War, out of every three dead, one was Russian. If we try with all of our power, can we not find a way to peacefully settle our difference? In the name of humanity, bitterly torn, in the name of our children as yet to be born Before we do that which can never be undone I beg of you Think, think again And again, and again, and again, and again Do you think that the Russians want war? The voice of insanity leads you to total destruction you stumble to death as though you were blind will you cause the destruction of all humankind will you die because you don't like their political system there will be no survivors you know no one left to scream in the night and condemn our stupidity in the name of humanity in the name of our children as yet to be born Before we do that which can never be undone I beg of you Think, think again And again, and again, and again, and again That was Think Again I know it from Billy Bragg. Billy Bragg does a great version of it. It wasn't written by him. Right now I'm blanking on the name of the man who wrote it, but he wrote it uh, in on what used to be the dividing line between East and West Berlin. I wrote, I read that about, about uh, his own song. Uh, anyway, he's got like a 2G name, a double G name. Anyway, down below. Uh, outdated, obviously, politically. Russia still exists, and they're, you know, doing things that uh, not not everybody in the international community always um, thinks are good. But they're not the uh, <clears throat> nemesis of, uh, you know, NATO that they used to be. Nevertheless, totally relevant, I think. You know, you can replace Russia with whatever you want. Iran, I, whatever, right? You can uh, make it relevant yourself. Um, I really like it. I really like this song. And it also uh, harks back to a time that I wasn't really politically aware in where nuclear destruction, mutually assured nuclear destruction, was a thing I think people thought about a lot more. Even though now we talk about North Korea and Iran having nuclear bombs, developing nuclear bombs. It's like people used to be, and by that I don't mean people in South Korea who I think have a legitimate, you know, reason to be afraid. 
But uh, I think people in North America, for example, used to be afraid, viscerally afraid of this. Like they would think about it, and and that's not something that I've really experienced. I haven't experienced that real fear of an imminent potential nuclear war. Um, and that's heavy, heavy stuff. Um, that's it. Have a good day.